Hi everybody, it's Patty Ann here and I'm just here to revisit what we went over, I think it was yesterday. Uh, there's only a few days left in this so I wanted to make sure that you guys took advantage of it because it says it's going to end in four days and 12 hours and, and I think it's a wonderful way to learn to use your Cricut machine and vinyl or even cardstock. So let me remind you how to do this. All you're going to do is go to download and I think you might have to join this site first but there's no cost I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to save the file which I've already done so it's going to say you know, you've already done this you want to do it again so I'm going to save it yeah I'll replace it so then after I've replaced it the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find it and since I've been playing with this <coughs> whoops it's in my download folder and I named it New Year Happy New Year 2018 and then here is the file, the only file that's going to come in. I've already played with this, so you see some other things. But you're going to see this big zippered file. If you don't see it looking like that, you can come over here. You see it says small icons. Uh, there, yours might come in as a list, and you can't really even tell very well. There's a zippered thing. I actually sometimes like to use the extra large icons. So when I'm using those, I'm going to just click on this. Actually, I need to double click it, I guess. So here it is, but it's not extracted. So I'm going to click on it. It's called the final filing. And I'm going to extract all. And it's going to be extracted into the exact same folder I want it to be extracted into, which was the New Year 2018 that I believe I made. And I didn't show you in this video. Showed you in the last one. But anyway. I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, show the extracted files. Now it's going to say I've already done it. Okay, so it did finally come and it says replace them. Replace the files in the destination. I don't need to replace them because I've done it once. I'm just going to skip it. And so it's done really quickly. Yours won't be done that fast because there are 410 files that are going to be downloaded. So then I'm going to open this folder. And notice that there are three four different folders in here. The ones that we will concern ourselves with are the PNG and the SVG. The SVG files, and just remember those initials or write them down on a little pad of paper. Those are the cut files. The PNG files are the image files. So we want the cut files to open in our Cricut Design Space. But I also like to look at the PNG files so I can see what it is I want to get. So let me open the PNGs first. <clears throat> and remember, I have the view up here, which you can't see because it's too high. I have the view up here set to extra large icons. I could make it small icons, but I like the extra large ones. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll through here. Let's see, make them big again. I'm going to look through here for a, um, an image that I like. And I saw one earlier. So now what I need to do is I need to jot down this number of this file. Because it's 2019-017. So this is the one I want to make. If I click on it, double click on it, it'll come up and I'll be able to see more clearly what it's going to look like. This is a new year, a new beginning, and things will change. So I'm going to use that one. And what did I say the number was? Let's look again. New year 2017. Okay. So that's important to remember. I'm going to minimize this and minimize this. And I'm going to open Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to start with a new blank canvas. And I'm going to go to Upload. And I'm going to upload an image. But before I do that, let me show you something. If I'm going to Upload, it does say these are the kind of images that we can upload. We can upload the SVG, which is the cut file that we want to upload. 
you can upload a PNG and I'll show you in a bit what happens when we do that. But first we're going to start with the SVG or the cut file. So I'm going to upload an image. Then I'm going to browse. Then I'm going to go to, we'll pretend like I'm not already here. <laughs> And I put mine in the um, download folder and I put it in 2018. Looks like they did it in 2019. Here it is, New Year 2018. And now it's not the one that looks zippered. It's the other folder that I need, the one that I unzipped. So I'm going to click on that and then click on the final filing. Now remember I want the SVG file. Oops, I don't want to rename it. Double click. And I believe it was number 17. And I need to remember that because there are no little images that show up over here. But recall, this is the SVG. And down here is the type of file these are. They're all SVGs in this folder. I want 017 SVG. And I'm going to say open. Okay, that's exactly what I want. So I can put in here new year and then I can say save. All right, so here it is. I click on it, come down to the lower right and click insert image. And notice this images because I could click more than one of these to bring in at the same time, but I'm just clicking the one. Make sure there's a green box around it. And then I go to insert image. Now notice how wonderfully this comes in. It comes in already cut apart, three different colors, ready to go on a t-shirt. Of course, we will want to make sure of the sizing up here to make sure it's, you know, going to fit perfectly on your t-shirt. And this actually is a good size. So I can actually go to make it and let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Okay, that part looks pretty good. Okay, these, I'm not sure. I'm going to go back and look at the original picture. Let's see, cancel. Okay, that looked like that came in pretty well. But so then if I was to make this again, all that I would do is I would put in one mat that has the yellow, one mat, with this kind of minty-ish green and one mat that's this other pretty greenish color. So I'm not going to continue because I'm going to show you something else now. So this is this one and I think I will hide it over here. I have the whole thing selected by drawing a box around it and I'm going to come over, over to my layers panel and hide the eyeball so that hides that. And now I'm going to go to upload, upload an image, browse, and this time, rather than getting one of these SVG files in this folder, I'm going to show you what happens if you get a PNG file. So I'm going to open that folder and it was number 17, I think. Yep. And I'm going to open it. And this one came in okay. It's a PNG file. Notice that there's a um, transparent background. So I'm going to say hit complex and say continue. Come up here to zoom out so I can see it more clearly. And then there's advanced options up here. If some of the background showed up, I could grab this tool and click over here. If there was something I wanted to erase, Say, for example, I didn't like this little thing down here. I could make my eraser bigger and I could erase this. If I had decided I didn't like it. But it's fine with me, so I'm going to hit the undo button. And then I'm going to continue. And one of the people on my Facebook group, and by the way, the Facebook group is, let's see, what is the... It's facebook.com slash groups slash Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann. 
And I'll put a little marker up with that. So what I think the person did, she said, you know, Patty Ann, I did this, but all of my stuff came in gray. And that's what I think happened. I think she clicked on save this as a cut image. And when she did that, there it is. Insert it. It's going to all come in gray. One big old gray cut file which maybe you like, you know, maybe you just have black vinyl and that's what you want. But of course you could change the other one to all just black vinyl easily also. So let me make this a little smaller. Holy moly. Use these buttons down here and then make it smaller. All right, and then I'm gonna come over to the right and hide this one. And then I'm going to upload and I'm going to upload the image again. Browse. Here I am still in the PNG portion, PNG. So I'm going to get that image again. Here it is. And I'm going to say open. And I like how it looks. So I'm just going to click on it, click complex and continue. And this time, let's make this go in, zoom in so we can see where it is. And I'm going to leave it like that and continue. And now this time, I'm going to save it as a print then cut image. Those are my two options. All gray or all black like this as a cut image or a print then cut image. And I'm going to save that. Okay, here's my final thing. So the first one was the SVG file. The second one was the PNG file that I saved as a simple cut file. The last one is the same PNG file as this one, but I saved it rather than just a cut file, I saved it as a print then cut file. So let's open this one and see what we get. Okay, right off the bat, you can see something is different. It's a printer. It's a printer. It's going to print and cut. Watch. When I go to make it, oh, it's too big. Let me fix that so you can see, actually. Make it smaller. Make it. Okay. It's going to be one of those print then cut images. Now I could print this onto um, cardstock if I wanted to, or I could print it onto the um, printable vinyl, but that isn't what I want. So I'm going to cancel that. So again, the, this one is a print only print and cut. This one, let me undo it. This one is a cut only. It's going to cut. Let me hide this one for a sec. And let's look at what this one's going to do if I make it. Okay, it gets sorted onto a mat. It's going to be cut out. All of this will be cut, but I don't want it all black, so I'm going to cancel. So let me hide this one. And the final one, the first one that I did is my favorite one because this is the one where I go to make it. It's going to separate it into the different mats and the different colors that I need. So once again, let me open all of these. And <clears throat> The first one I'm going to click on, if we look over in the layers panel, notice that it's a cut file. All, this layer is going to cut, this layer is going to cut, and this layer is going to cut. Let me select this one now, the black one. It also is a cut file. It's going to cut everything out of black. And this came from the PNG file. Okay, This one is one that is only going to print then cut. Now there's one more thing I could tell you, and it's this. If I take this one that has all these wonderful layers and I go like this and I flatten it, 
it's going to change it to a print, then cut. But it's going to print, then cut in all the colors, just like this one. So if I'm going to make it, we're going to have one of these on a sheet, another one on a sheet, depending on how big you made it, and then the last one's going to be cut out of vinyl. <sighs> I hope this is clear as mud. Let me get rid of these and show you one more time. Like I said, I like to revisit. So I'm going to go to new, replace. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up <clears throat> this. See if I can find another one that I like. This one is a pretty one. Oh, I just need to know what number that is. I don't need to open it here. So it's number 22. So remember 22. So I'm going to go to upload, upload an image. I'm going to browse. Right now, look, I'm in the PNG folder. We know what's going to happen with those. If I want one that I'm going to put on a t-shirt with different colors of vinyl, I don't want to be in the PNG folder. I want to go up one folder. See, I'm in the PNG folder. I want to be in the SVG folder. Now, once I highlight that, I can come down here to the right and say open. And if you remember, it was number 22. So I'm going to open it. Okay, there it is. And I should put some text in here and save. Now, if we want to imagine I'm making a t-shirt out of this, I can insert, click on it, and then come over to the right and insert images. Okay, this one comes in and it's just two colors. So let's see how big it is. It's a uh, good, that's a good size also for a t-shirt. That would work perfectly. So if I went to make it, I would have these things on my yellow mat and this on my red and it would be ready to go simple now we learned that part what if we hide this one and instead we upload an image and this time the image we upload we're going to browse for it is not in the svg folder going to go up folder go to the png folder and we're going to go to number 22 22. Here it is. Open. It looks good. So I'm going to hit complex and continue. It's awfully big. So I need to come up here in the upper right hand corner and hit the minus sign where it says zoom out. And that looks great. I don't believe there's anything I need to erase or uh, select an erase or crop. I suppose if I wanted to, I could crop it, make it a little smaller. Okay, there we go. And then again, I got to zoom out again. Okay, so I'll go to continue. And here's where the options come in. You got to be careful. If I were you, even if you wanted to do it all in black as a cut image, I would still do the print and cut because you can always change that later. So I always would pick the print, then cut and click save. can see the green bar sliding across at the top showing Cricut Design Space is still working. 
It's a little bit slow right now. Okay, image not saved. Uh-oh. Hmm, wonder what happened. Even though it says it wasn't saved, it kind of looks like it was. So, well, let's see. Insert it. Okay, I'm right, it was saved. So here it is. And it is, if you look over here, it's a print then cut image. And I need to make it a little smaller down here on the left so I can kind of crop it in. Okay, so the only thing I can do with this, I can't really easily separate this into pieces of vinyl like it is here, a yellow sheet and a red sheet. The only thing I can do now with this particular one, which came from the PNG file, this is the SVG file. It's the cut file. This is the PNG file. That's the print and cut or the print file. So what I can do with this one is I can make it, I can print it. There it is. Okay, maybe I don't want to print and cut it though on a sheet or on a box, in a box. So I'm going to go back and maybe I'm going to change it to a cut file, which I can do. So you may be wondering, what if I have this here and I do want to change it into a cut file? How do I do that? If I want it to be just black and not like this. I can change it to a cut file and it's going to be just like this, just gray. And if I go to make it, it's going to cut okay. It's going to cut all gray or all black, whatever color I make it be. So I'm going to cancel. In other words, it's going to cut all gray because there's gray here. I could click on this and make it cut all red if I want to. Okay, and then if I go to make it, it's all going to cut out of red vinyl. And that vinyl could either be regular vinyl or heat transfer vinyl. Do you remember what I have to do if it's heat transfer vinyl? Always, always, always. If you're going to do iron on or heat transfer or HTV, which all mean the same thing. If you're using a heat transfer vinyl, you must put on mirror. Okay, have to do that. But let's cancel that. And let me hide this. Let's go back to this one one more time. This is going to be an awfully long tutorial, but just a few more items. So this one right here, let's suppose I want this one to be on a, a heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to put it on a t-shirt. I'm not going to put it on a book or on a uh, vinyl on a uh, scrapbook page or anything like that. I'm going to put this on a shirt because by golly, I like it. Uh, what I would do is I would go to make it. And since it's heat transfer vinyl, I have to mirror each of these. I must. Okay. When I continue on and I select the material I'm going to use. I will get a warning reminding me to mirror it and I can still do it at that time, but it's a little easier to do it right now. So then I would go to make it and continue on. One last thing and then I promise I'm done. Uh, let's say we want to do this, but we don't want this little pencil-y looking thing at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and I have to if I move this, it's all grouped together. I need to ungroup it. So I'm going to click and I'm going to come up here to ungroup. And now while everything is ungrouped, I can click on this. But it's still hooked up to that heart and that text and I want that in there. And I don't see anywhere where I can ungroup it. Well, what I can do is I can come down here to the lower right hand corner where it says contour. If I click on contour, I can see everything that's being that's being used or done on that one layer and it actually shows it over here too. What I can do over here, it says on the image below, select outline portions to turn cut off and on. So if I want to turn this cut off for this, 
I click it and you see how it becomes clear and let's look over here okay that outer part is gone but I want this part gone too so I'm gonna come down here to contour click on it come over here click that and then I can just X this out and move this back over here where it was okay and there you have it so I hope this has helped um, if I were you what I would do is download those free files and just kind of follow along if you can maybe you can watch this tutorial on a phone or something while you do it on your iPad or your computer anyway if y'all like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and share it across social media. Share it with your friends. Remember, I'm trying to get to 10,000 viewers because or subscribers because when I do, I'm going to give away that little uh, slicer, the 12-inch Cricut slicer. So thanks again. Bye, y'all.